issues are issues of what? Federal or state? State. What definitions should they use? You'll find that the state definitions fit the context and are2016, this brother still believes. Wow. Because I won the case for him. Wow. Wow. Because I had a sympathetic judge who wanted to listen to me. Wow. And let it rock. Mm. And at that time period, at that time period, see, one of the reasons why we were very successful in a lot of these bogus legal arguments, because that's what they are, right. is because we had we blindsided the legal system. Mm. We were prepared. We knew more about it than they did. Right? Mm -hmm. We were just better equipped than them. Wow. That's right. Not in 2016. <laughs> they said you're coming to my way. Yep. Trust me. Yep. Not in 2016. I won a case. It was so. Oh, I don't even want to go into the details. Wow. But I actually won a case based on Murdoch versus Pennsylvania. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. That's deep. Okay. I sure did. Okay. I sure did. I won it for a brother. And the judge dismissed everything. Win is not really a win. Let's keep that real. A win is a decision in your favor. A dismissal, for whatever reason, is not a win. Because it doesn't make precedence. Can't be used with sight. It just means I ain't go to jail. That's what it means. But anyway, and also too, I use the Black's Law Dictionary definition of a driver. One who is employed in the use of the public highways for commercial purposes. Mm -hmm. I use the, the, the Black's Law Dictionary definition of a motor vehicle. A vehicle used for commercial purposes on the public highways. Mm -hmm. Like a taxi driver or a stagecoach driver. Y'all have heard this before. <laughs> yeah. Y'all heard this before. Yeah, yeah. I used it, but guess what? I was just smarter than the judge. I was just smarter than the DA. Wow. They didn't understand context either. Wow. Driver's license issues are issues of what? Federal or state? State. What definition should they use? State. You'll find that the state definitions fit the context mm -hmm. and are different mm. than the federal. Wow. Mm. I'm off with the head. Wow. Wow. Oh, they know that now. They didn't know, know it then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know it then. They know it now, though. Right. Okay. Common law case law or common case law used to argue in favor. It sounds real convincing. When you're not versed in how law works, right. when you don't understand jurisprudence and you just understand technicalities. Right. Jurisprudence is the spirit of the law. Mm. When you don't understand the spirit of the law, when you don't have civics mm. and you have 
case laws just being thrown at you in the place of masquerading as, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you get stuff like this. Miller versus U.S. Actually, not Thompson, yeah, it was Thompson versus Smith. That's what I used. The claim and exercise of a constitutional right cannot be converted into a crime. How many have you heard that? Yes. This is how it's misinterpreted. A driver's license now puts me under the privilege of driving and takes me out of the right to travel. Privilege. So therefore, the possession of a driver's license converts a right into a privilege yes, and sir. charges a fee for it. Isn't that what we used to say? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. versus Cullen. There could be no sanction or penalty imposed upon one because of this exercise of constitutional rights. Wow. Constitutional right, in this case, being understood to be right to travel. Thompson versus Smith. The right of the citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon, either by horse-drawn carriage or by automobile, is not a mere privilege which a city can prohibit or permit at will, but a common right which he has under the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That sounds kind of specific. <laughs> but guess what? Just like House Joint Resolution 192. People read one part of it, or they hear a European say a part of it, and they take it as the whole of the thing, and then run with it. Yes, sir. They do the same thing with these cases. Mm. Somebody just did it just yesterday mm. wow. online on our board, wow. and we had to <laughs> spank it. Wow. You said, brother, you never read the cases. <laughs> you literally just cut and paste this off the Sovereign Citizen website, wow. and then we showed him the website. <laughs> <laughs> then we showed him the case. Right. Guess what? In all these cases, none of these cases are topic specific. In other words, none of them deal with licensing. <laughs> Motor vehicle licensing. None of them! Wow. Now let's give you since you know these brothers like case law. I like case law. Let's give you some case specific case law. Uh oh. Hendrick versus Maryland. The movement of motor vehicles over the highways is attended by constant and serious dangers to the public and is also abnormally destructive to the ways themselves. In the absence of national legislation covering the subject, there is no federal driver's license, no federal travel authority, no federal... It doesn't exist! A state may rightfully prescribe uniform regulations necessary for public safety and order in respect to the operation upon its highways of all motor vehicles, those moving in interstate commerce as well as others, those moving in interstate commerce as well as others. And to this end, it may require the registration of such vehicles and the licensing of their drivers. This is but an exercise of the police power uniformly recognized as belonging to the states and essential to the preservation of the health, safety, and comfort of their citizens. Right. Well, <laughs> that is case specific. That's right. That's right. Let's go on. Motor vehicles are dangerous machines, and even when skillfully and carefully operated, their use is attended by serious dangers to persons and property. In the public interest, the state may make and enforce regulations reasonably calculated to promote care on the part of all. Residents and non-residents alike who use its highways. Hess versus Polowski, 1927. The use of the public highways by motor vehicles with its consequent dangers renders the reasonableness and necessity of regulation apparent. The universal practice is to register ownership of automobiles and to license their drivers. Any appropriate means adopted by the states to ensure confidence and care on the part of the licensees and to protect others using the highway is consonant with due process. Mm. Uh, Reeds versus Medley, 1941. State versus Skirtle, 1988. Recent. This is obviously a growing school of thought. This is my, note, my notes, I'm sorry. This is obviously a growing school of thought which had been misguided. The notion of right to travel remains wholly separate right. from the right or privilege to operate a motor vehicle right. on the public highways. Right. Please note that the court made a point of discussing many of the arguments against requiring driver's licenses and also rejected the argument that if the travel is not commercial or not connected to government activity, that it is not susceptible to regulation. Montana versus Turk, for those of you that say, well, hey, I'm not traveling in a motor vehicle. 
I, I'm not driving a motor vehicle, I'm traveling in my conveyance. <laughs> Montana versus turf. Using the term automobile and motor vehicle interchangeably. Ain't no way around. Oh, we, we got more. Ethica versus the Secretary of State. The right to travel is not absolute, people. It is well established that the Constitution permits a state. Let me say that again. It is well established that the Constitution permits a state to regulate the operation of motor vehicles on its roads. In the absence of national legislation covering the subject, the state may rightfully prescribe uniform regulations necessary for the public safety and in order to respect the operation of its highways of all motor vehicles. You all see it. I'm not going to read it all. It's a lot. But the key thing right here, I want to read. Therefore, the question before this court is whether the requirement that one obtain a driver's license before driving upon the highways and in the process provide one social security number is a reasonable regulation in furtherance of the state's police power. Here's the disconnect, people. The disconnect in legal understanding regarding right to travel. Number one, the right of states to regulate under its police power does not infringe upon the individual's right to travel. Mm. It doesn't. Mm. I'm sorry. The right of the state to do so is protected by the Constitution for the securing right. the safety of life and property. Exactly. A state is considered a person in the Constitution. Mm. It has rights just like individuals mm. have rights. Mm -hmm. And the Supreme Court and Congress have not deemed that the regulation of rights for the purpose of public safety is an infringement upon your right to travel. Mm -hmm. Protection of rights is a duty of government and not left up to individuals solely or directly. Let's make this, let's bring this right home. All right. Let's bring this home. You bring your vehicle with your children. Uh -huh. I broadside your vehicle at about 40 miles an hour. Your child's neck is broken. Mm. I get out and say, oh, brother, I'm so sorry. And then I go and I grab my fence and I put it on. But I'm a sovereign and I don't need a license, nor do I need insurance. Oh, wow. oh, Handle it yourself. Wow. Handle it yourself. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. You get it now? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Once again, people. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Demonstrate. <laughs> There are no rights without responsibility. There are none. There are none. The word freely does not mean absent regulation. It doesn't. I want everyone to understand here that this lecture constitutes to defend against these types of things from people who ain't never talking the doors yep. of the more science to yep. wow. That's disingenuous, it's dishonest. Yes. This is what's happened. Mm. Here we go. The redemption scheme was founded by a European by the name of Roger Elvick, who's heard the name. Roger Elvig is the national spokesman for the white supremacist group called Committee of the States. Wow. By the way, is this group and groups like it that we get that whole jargon, oh, well, I don't live in the corporate state, I live in Pennsylvania territory. <laughs> I live in Pennsylvania, the Republic. And we get it from these European white wow. supremacists. Wow. I'm telling the truth. Wow. That's where it comes from. He was sentenced to five years in federal prison and fined $100,000 for this stuff. Wow. But I'm going to tell you something about Roger Elvig that's kind of interesting. Elvick and others found a cash cow mm. with guess who? Uh oh, our people. Oh, our people. In Midwest mortgage groups and individuals who paid high prices for their scam information. Wow. Mm -hmm. How many heard of the Washington? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, when I first, in fact, when I first came into the mortgage movement, via the more circle of mothers and sons in Cleveland, Ohio, under the late J. Johnson Bay. Guess who was taking classes at the same time? The Empress. The Empress. Wow. 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 So, brother J. Johnson Bay told me and my other brother, Sovereign Bay, to our, he said, yeah, we got a sister from Louisiana. Mm. And her hey. family's been fighting this land claim for a while. And so we're going to help her, so we're going to get some land. Mm. 
That's what the judge just may told us. We got a brother right here who was in the sister's inner circle. Raise your hand, old man. Slow. Slow. Wow. Tell you all about it. Yes, wow. What was her downfall, brother? Well, she signed a treaty of peace with the, uh, the Republic of Texas. The European white supremacist sovereign citizen group called the Republic of Texas. Soon after that, what happened? Well, they took some hostages. They ended up having a shootout with the federal government, which gave them, the, the federal government, the impetus or the excuse to raid her because she had an association with this group that they have deemed criminal. Wow. And when I had all my personal effects confiscated, Dang. went to jail, the um, same thing the police told us, yeah, we had to shoot the kill order wow. if you had- Oh, we're gonna talk about that in a second. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, we're gonna talk about that in a second. That's right. Have you guys heard of that one? <laughs> <laughs>
We're talking right now, this is the, the close. We're talking, which, well, I want to give you a clear picture of the importance of where you're sitting right now. Mm. Mm. Where is this term, white and black, going based on what we just said? It's taking the long vacation. Mm. Meaning, not only are Europeans, and you can see it happening. Mm. It's coming. We're there even ashamed <laughs> to a degree of being called white. That's right. No, no, no. I'm German. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Who knows the biblical story of Jesus on the cross and the robber on the left and the robber on the right? Right, right, right? Those ones that are trying to get rid of that, that's the robber on the right. The robber on the left said, man, get us off this, man. You say, oh, get us. Man, the robber on the right said, no, we deserve to be here. Mm -hmm. And then he said to Jesus, said, when you enter into your kingdom, remember me. <laughs> he said, remember me. This is what's going on now. They're becoming ashamed of that because they know what it means for them. They see it coming. Guess who the last people to see it coming? That's what the April 10th was all about. Right. Not only our people, but the people, the, the, the group amongst us that consider themselves conscious. Right. Right. Ready to fight you tooth and nail over that label, over that myth. Wow. Wow. What's the duty of a prophet? Save the nations from the wrath of Allah. Praise Allah. Do we not get that everything we've gone through since 1865 to now is the wrath of Allah? Islam. 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 Right. Islam, right? Islam, Okay. So, this has got to go by. This whole right. black thing's got to go. Right. What is the only organization ever mm. praised to teach our people mm. about their nationality? Woo! Um. <laughs> and not just national identity. See, national identity and nationality are not the same. National identity is why oh, I know who I am and who my forefathers were. The end. Uh oh, come on. When you talk to an Italian, you say, "What are you? Oh, I'm Italian." It never stops there. They start bragging to you about 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years of their history and culture. In other words, they can tell you what it's like to be Italian. See, that's called nationality. Quality or character. And the only place that teaches it is the Morris Science Temple. That's it. Others may tell you about national identity, but they will not confer the quality or character. Right. Right. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is what it is. It is what it is, that's it. Second thing, economic power of American Asiatics in 2016. Are you aware of the fact that in 2016, Asiatics in America surpassed the 1.1 trillion mark? Yes, sir. Trillion. Wow. That's ridiculous. Trillion. To all brothers that are on this whole back to Africa thing. Not to make light of it, or not to ridicule, but I am going to make light of it. Oh, we're going to go back to Africa. All right. What country? Mm. 54. And do you think you're going to go there without a business plan and some money? Okay, I got a better one. Show of hands. Who owes child support? You are not getting on a plane, money. <laughs> That's right. I know that for you. <laughs> so do I, bro. So do I. You are not getting on that plane. Yeah. Yo, back taxes? That's right. Sorry. Goes nowhere. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere. That's right. But, 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 but let's be serious. Do you really think you're talking about a population on American soil that is worth 1.1 trillion annually mm. and we're 98% consumers? Wow. That's mm. foolish. Do you understand we're the ones keeping this whole thing going? Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. right. And we broke? Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's loud. Act 7. I'm going to bring this home. Okay. You want to check me, sister? <laughs> <laughs> Act 7. To the media to become a part and partial of all the lifting acts of the more science symbol of America. Members must pay their dues and keep an eye with all the sexiness of the more science symbol of America. Then you're entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must.
must support your wife and children. Wife must obey husband, take care of the children, and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All more Americans must keep your hearts and minds pure in love and their bodies clean with water. It's the divine covenant should be holy prophet, noble draw Lee, with the guidance of his father God. That's okay. <laughs> Science Temple of America. Come on, no That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right, brother. Come on. The Morris Science Temple of America will no That's longer right. be passed. That's right. When you look at that symbol on the front of your Quran, Come on. it should let you know something. Come on. That there are strong angels at every Woo. gate. That's right, Morris. Yes, right. Yes, right. Ah. Right. And you don't see them. Islam. That's right. Ah. Mm. The prophet is quoted as saying, I will use the European to enforce my law. I don't know how true or accurate that is. I will say this. Keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. As the brother attested to, federal, state, and local law enforcement training and instructions. Shoot on sight. Anyone they deem connected to the sovereign citizen movement. Once again, like I said, right. it is a shame that the complexion, and it's perplexing to law enforcement. Trust me, it is. Yes. We've talked to them. They're like, how in the world are your people adopting the tactics and the ideology wow. of people that hate you? That's right. They hate you. Wow. What's wrong with y'all? Wow. That's okay. Wow. We have our orders. Wow. All right. Do you know why they're given a shoot on sight order? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you what a police captain told me personally. You have a stone cold killer gangbanger out in the street. You got bodies under him. Does he do it in broad daylight like he can't get arrested? No. Because even though he's out there as wrong as two left shoes, he knows that he does not want to get caught and go to jail. Mm. Which means in his heart he knows he's wrong. Mm. Guess what that means? He can be reformed. Mm. Yep. Someone who really believes in their heart what they're doing is 100% right, right cannot be reformed. Mm. And in another school of thought, they ask the question. <laughs> right? <laughs> I won't ask you if we all know what it is. <laughs> Can't be reformed. <laughs> Gotta be killed. That's why. And then they've had incidences where they pulled over on traffic stops on the highway. Europeans, sovereign citizens. Yep. And father and son got out blasted. Yep. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Why would you want to inherit such a punishment? Wow. 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 Federal, state, local court systems training. They have training. Law enforcement and court systems. Oh, they have actual training. Yes, they do. On sovereign citizens. Like I said, we got away with it about 20 years ago. They didn't have these trainings. Well, they do now. They do now. Bogus frivolous legal claims now easily recognized, and they will treat you accordingly. As a matter of fact, you already know what they call this. Or they're what they call those people that advocate that stuff. What do they call them? Terrorists. Paper terrorists. Yep. Paper terrorists. And this is post 9 11, people. Right. Mm. Right. You're lucky if you go in front of a local or a state magistrate under these types of things. You're lucky. You might be on your way to Guantanamo Bay. Yep. That's right. That's right. Federal, state, and local legislation. Laws passed directly targeting sovereign citizens. I gave you one example in North Carolina. Gave you one example. They understand the political process. Nationality determines political status, and politics always trumps the law. Mm. Let me say it again. Politics trumps the law. If you're in the status at law and jurisdiction game, you're in the wrong game. Mm. And more importantly, not only is it the wrong game, it has nothing to do with the Morris Science Temple of that's America, right, that's right. with Prophet Noble Draw Lee that's for right. what he taught. That's right. That's right. Mark. Nothing. That's right. Armageddon within the Moorish movement. In other words, in the Bible, in the biblical story of Jesus, Jesus spent three and a half years in a ministry where he had wanted posters up 
in the city of Jerusalem. That's right. At a particular point in time in his ministry, what did he do? He did the most gangsterous thing he could have done. He rides broad daylight on the back of the donkey oh, right into right the city. Into yep. And where's the first place he goes? He goes right to the temple. And what does he do? He puts his foot to every single one of the money changers in the temple. In other words, where did he go first? The temple. What did he do? Cleaned house in the temple. That's what he did. Identification of and separation from the foreign ideologies within the movement. Again, this is why, now we get back to what I said in the beginning, this is why it is so important you know who from who and what from what. That's right. It is very important. Wow. And like I said, from here on out, there are elements and spirits within the movement that will no longer be passive but very active in this pursuit. Very active. We have children. That's right. That's right. I am not, my wife is not. Is not getting up, lock, getting locked up in anybody's concentration that's camp. Right, that's right. Because somebody decided to squat on a mansion. Mm. So that's right. Oh. That's right. So that's right. Supreme importance of the Moorish movement. Many of us, like the, uh, the Grand Sheik quoted the prophet, saying, "You know, there's a lot of confusion because people don't know." Right. That's right. That's right. Where the power is. Islam. They don't know the purpose. Islam. I'm gonna make something, make it real simple for all of us. Yes. Yourself yes. and also your outlook on life. Wow. More science. What is more science? Mm -hmm. To understand more science, you gotta understand what science is. Science is a system of knowledge oh. gained through mm -hmm. study, observation, and experimentation. Mm -hmm. Carried on to determine the nature or principle of that which is being studied. Mm -hmm. What do we study in the more science of America? Self. Oh. More oh. science can best be described as self knowledge. Ah. First degree when you open up your holy literature, know thyself in Allah. So we welcome you out here to Four Sides of America. And I'm privy to Four Sides of America. I encourage you to find the nearest Four Sides of America to you and become a part of this more divine and national movement. It's like more. It's more. We are family more. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's how we treat each other, my yes. brother. Praise Allah for the wisdom, brother. I'm thanking you. Right before we had the meeting, Mo, we put up this beautiful ceiling fan. Yes, he did. Praise Allah. So, yeah, he did this one right before the lecture. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all of you, brothers and sisters, for working together. The prophet Noble Jolly told us where there is what? Unity. There's what? Strength. Together we stand. Divided we fall. So we tear down the so-called blocks of division. That's right. Because the spiritual reality we not divided. That's right. That's right. Okay, right. division is nothing but an illusion. That's right. So we learn how to get into the spirit of the prophet's teachings because the prophet lets us know that every living thing is bound by what core to every other living thing. We are the ninth spirit. So we're learning how to tap into the spirit and acknowledge those cores that unite us all. We're not going to allow the, the illusion of disunity to keep us devoid of strength That's right. no longer. Praise this Allah. is why I also be honest to Ali's men Praise who Allah. are a group of scholars coming from various so-called grand bodies. Praise because the reality is only one grand body. That's right. That's right. But it's That's an right. illusion right now that we divide it. That's right. Praise Allah. Allah, we're breaking down these walls of the dish. Praise Allah. Allah. We, got, we got brothers who represent various Moorish Organizations and the various leaderships, but acknowledge we acknowledge the brotherhood of man Praise and the fatherhood of Almighty God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise yes, sir. Allah. And all these men is doing a wonderful job. Praise Allah. Praise thank Allah. you, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, brother Tuna Kill. Tuna Kill, that's a beautiful quote right here. Thank you, brother Tuna Kill.
Brother, brother, Mati McCoy Hill. All of the brothers who are active participants and also supporters of Ali's men. So like I said, there's a lot of things in the work. The legislation has already been written. We gotta get in harmony with each other. Right. We can't keep fighting each other. We can't stay divided. No, no longer. That's right. We gotta rally around that flag that's over 50,000 years old. Sir. Sure. Nah. The folly that has been declared out. That's yes, right. Sir. So right now, boys, with this presentation, Woo! we're establishing an orthodox. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Praise Allah. Oh, boys, let's keep up the great work. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Thank you all for the donations. May Allah be pleased. Let us close out.